how do you handle not just one qualified tenant, but possibly six folks that might not have full-time jobs, et cetera? What are kind of the systems you have in place to avoid all those quote unquote hell dates? I avoid the hell dates by one, you know, some of my tenants get SSI or SSDI. And so because they don't want to be homeless and because they have a roof over their head, some pay on time. You know, I show up and some directly give me the rent money or some are not capable through the state to be able to do it. And so they go through a payee service. And so I have found two payee services that allows me to become a vendor or a provider connected with them. And they direct deposit into my account. So gu guaranteed checks, folks. That's one of the major advantages to this business model. There's more people on the property, but we're not chasing everybody down on the first of the month to collect that rent. It's gonna be direct deposited, typically either directly or indirectly from Uncle Sam. Wanna learn more about the future real estate? Sign up for your free training material at www.groupomeriches.com.